page 117 lesson 5 the world is too much with us william woodsworth the world is too much with us late and soon getting and spending we lay waste our powers little we see in nature that is ours we have given our hearts away a sordid boon the sea that bears her bosom to the moon the winds that will be howling at all hours and are up gathered now like sleeping flowers for this for everything we are out of tune it moves us not great god i'd rather be a pagan suckled in a creed outworn so might i standing on this pleasant lee have glimpses that would make me less fallen have sight of proteus rising from the sea or hear old triton blow his wreathed horn pagan a person whose religious beliefs do not belong to any of the main religions of the world proteus a character in greek mythology who had the gift of prophecy but who when questioned would assume different shapes to elude their grasp triton a sea deity in greek mythology who is generally represented as blowing a shell his body above the waist being that of a man below it of a dolphin page 118 about the poet william woodsworth 1770 to 1850 spent most of his life in the lake district of northern england and the many hours that he spent wandering about the hills and woods led to the production of some of the finest poetry on nature his work lyrical ballads co-authored with coleridge in 1798 is regarded as the beginning of the english romantic movement he selected subjects from nature and rustic life he held the view that the language of poetry should be simple and natural understanding the poem one why does the poet prefer to be a primitive pagan rather than a member of civilized society two what according to the poet are human beings out of tune with try this out compare the organization of the sonnet with that of the sonnet by william shakespeare suggested reading one to the cuckoo by william woodsworth two the solitary reaper by william woodsworth 